Well, hello, hello. Thank you for joining me for lunch in this webinar. Today we're going to be talking about how to get started with RPR and fundamentals of RPR. If you have any questions during the webinar, you can type in the chat box and I will try to get to all of the questions either during the webinar or I will contact you directly. Again, I appreciate you coming over to spend your lunch time with me and um, we are going to just get started. RPR is a great tool and it is a web um, a service for all of our members. In order to be able to use RPR, you want to get to know the system so that you can close more deals and you can actually differentiate yourself from the competition by doing things differently and in a way that is more advantageous for your business. We understand how how much you work to get your transactions and we want to make sure you look really really good when you actually get in front of your clients so you get a pro you are looking for a property for sale and the first thing you do is you do a market analysis or an evaluation of the property so in this webinar we're going to cover the home page navigation we're going to show you how to customize and update your profile using your RPR for buyers and sellers. There are different tools that are specifically for them. The reports are fabulous. So we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to create a report, how to share it, download it, and choose the pages you want if you want to um, print it and bring it to your listing presentation. And I'm also going to show you how to learn more about RPR and where to go to get more resources. In RPR, you will see that it, there is always an estimate of value for a property. This is an automated, uh, automatic or automated valuation model, which, is cre which, which comes not just from public records, but also from listing data that has been input into the MLS. And the estimate of value is a calculation, but it is also more accurate than some of the other estimate values that are available online. The Realtor's Valuation Model, that is what RVM stands for. So it gets information from public records, like the tax information, the owner information. Also, it includes all of the information that um, uh, that has been added by either active listings, recently sold transactions, and off-market area. This also includes mortgage information as well as any um, maps. The mapping system is really good, and it shows you also what the um, what the, the, the different areas are and it gives you information that has a lot more accurate valuation that is available. So the tips for learning in RPR. When you first log in, you will notice that on the right hand side on the top, there is a learning, there's a little um, hat for uh, learning and on your first visit, you can see there are different topics. There are very small videos that are two to five minutes. Some might be a little bit longer, but the majority of them are going to be um, short videos that will show you how to navigate the system and what to do. You will learn about pricing strategies for the properties, property details. So just click on the top where for learning and you will be able to find a lot of different webinars and videos that can show you how to navigate through the system and learn more. So let's get started. The first step is to go to www.narrpr.com. Once you do that, remember this is a member service. So anyone who is a realtor member 
has access to this system. There is also RPR Mobile, where you would be able to download on your mobile device, whether it's Apple or Android, you need to go to your, wherever you get your apps, and um, download the program to access property information, reports, tools. It is fast, but it's convenient. But you will notice that the site is different than the desktop site. When you are on the mobile, specifically, you can do searches, you can look at property details, and you can access some other tools. But there are some limitations for what you can do on the mobile site. You can turn properties uh, searches on or off, whether the property is on the market or off the market. Notice on the screen you see some values. Those values are the RVM, what we were talking about before. You can also take photos and add them to a particular property. You can take notes in voice or in text. You can create and send branded reports to your client. Even if it's not your property, you can also create flyers. In this system, the mobile site syncs automatically to your desktop site. There's also a blog on uh, a blog.narrpr.com where you can also find a lot of different topics of, um, of information about RPR and how to use all of that information. You can find video tutorials, online webinars, ebooks, and the quick start guide. Some of them are large, some of them are smaller but that actually gives you a lot of information to be able to learn more and more about this. This is a very um, important member benefit that we have, and it is to your advantage to get to know all of the different uh, opportunities you have of using the program. These are some of the training programs and webinars and tutorials that you will find such as engaging clients with interactive investment analysis that would that is perfect for commercial real estate getting started with rpr commercial because the site has a residential and also a commercial side to it advanced features of how to compare do a sales comparison analysis there are um, different mapping webinars um, an introduction to realtors. So there's a lot of different things. The one that I'm doing right now with you is getting started with RPR. So when considering a business tool, you want to make sure that you really take the time to learn about the system. There are beginner tutorials and there are more advanced tutorials. You want to explore all the videos in the course you want to see all the online learning courses. And during that, if you have any questions, I'm always available to uh, for any questions you may have by reaching out to me by email. When you go to the Quick Start Guide, you can download, there are many different topics that will uh, provide additional information and you can create your own library of topics for the system. So how to create a new account is covered in a quick start guide, how to complete your profile, how to get to your homepage, how to explore the different topics, doing searches for properties, refining your search results, using the mapping system, and also creating reports. And it also shows you how to email your reports or download your reports for your client. You can also do a neighborhood report, which I'm not gonna cover in detail here, but we will have a future webinar where we will cover how to actually do a, um, a, um, a report for a neighborhood if you're getting a listing or if you are specializing in the particular area. 
So now at this point, you, uh, in order to access RPR, again, you have to go to www.narrpr.com. You can download your mobile RPR onto your mobile device, log into the blogging area, and if you need any help, they have people available 24 hours, seven days a week at the phone number listed on the screen, 877-977-7576. Every page on the on the whole website also has support links at the bottom of every page. So, and also take a look at the learning menu icon so you can learn what is um, available. Um, and every time they make a change, an update, or improve the site or add something to it, you will be able to see what is new on the website. So I appreciate you being here. At this point, I want to just give you an overview of what, of what my RPR website looks like. So give me just one second, and I am going to share with you what, how I use my, um, my website, my RPR website. So as you can see here, this is customized with my company, my name. On the top you see it says, Welcome Diana, and next to that is commercial. I am now logged in in the residential side. If you wanted, if I wanted to change to the commercial side, I would switch to commercial, but I'm not going to do that right now. So on the bar on the top, I see home, results, details, reports, and then I sh uh, there is the, um, the little training area where you can actually get training. In order to do any type of search, you can actually type in, start typing an address, and you will start typing an address and the system will actually take you to that property address. And it will show you if the property is for sale and the um, AVM, it will show you on the right hand side what is the, uh, the map. If you make it a bigger map, you will see, you will be able to open the map wider and notice where it says heat maps, right below the map on the right-hand side. You can actually look not only at estimated home values, concentration of distressed properties, but also more importantly, the flood zones. So here it shows you it's green because it's a low risk area. Anytime you need to go to a different property, you just click, click on home and it will take you to the main page. Anytime you do a search, your search, the property you search, will be saved where it says recent properties on, on this window over here. So for a property, for example, that is recently sold or off market, when you click on that property, it will actually show you the pictures of the property when it was listed and it will show you if it has not had any activity on the property. It will show you the owners, any bank information they have. You can also add notes. This is where you can add a note. You can upload photos. If it is a property that you are going to be listing, and you have taken a picture of the property of the exterior, you will be able to do um, to upload any photos so that when you create the report, it actually gives you the picture that you put into it. You can also get a seller's uh, proceeds um, and you can uh, save and print the form or you can clear it. So as you can see, there are a lot of different um, ways you can use. Recent searches will also be here in the middle. I had done a um, a report for a town, for Carlstead neighborhood. 
when you click on that, it actually gives you information about the area. Everything that is available for sale, anything that is under contract. If you see anything red, that is a foreclosure or there's a lease pendants on the property. On the right hand side, you see information pertaining to that particular neighborhood. Median estimated home values, the changes in the home values in the last 12 months, sales prices, public sales, listing prices, and uh, days on market. When you click on the bigger map, you can make the map bigger or you can make it smaller. You can also narrow down on, this, on the area. And again, you can also use the heat maps or concentration of distressed properties. For example, the, the higher the color red, the larger the concentration. So there are many different things that you can do with this report. You can see average listing prices. You can see average sales prices in that particular neighborhood. Whenever you see something that is in dark blue, it is a property for sale. And um, you will see pending. It's a little bit more uh, darker blue. And if it's red, it's distressed. So if I log into, um, if I go into that particular neighborhood, it shows, for example, this particular property, it is not on the, it, it is for sale, but it is on, it, a distressed property for sale for $299. While other properties, this one is for sale, but it is in blue, so it is not a distressed sale. So you will be able to use that for um, knowing the market and knowing the area. Going back to the main page, you will see that the details of any particular property, you can get that. And then you can go to reports to create a report. And there are different types of reports that you can generate from here. You can also create a mini property report or a property flyer. If I go to the bottom, you see information as to how to download the RPR mobile. And on the bottom, you see the blog. You can see the learning tab. And um, you can also still go to the learning tab up on the top. If I were to go into commercial, it turns red. Anything that is commercial is red. Anything that in from the same website, you don't have to do anything to, uh, you don't have to do any logging again. It recognizes that I'm in, in the commercial side right here. I will do a future webinar on how to use the commercial site to determine property areas and um, doing research for properties that are specifically in commercial areas. I'm gonna go back to residential and um, you see the difference there. Okay. If anybody has any questions, if anybody has any questions, um, please, Take a look at, um, if you have any questions, please, you know, reach out to me. I'm looking to see if there's any questions on my chat box and without seeing any. Um, this is obviously just an overview of and fundamentals of RPR, but there is so much to learn that I hope you will be able to join me for our future webinars where we will go into more detail about specific areas and how you can use them in your business. If you have any questions, like I said, my email address is Diana Bustamante at realtyexecutives.com and I look forward to seeing you at my next webinar. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.